Welcome back guys, we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over Tebex and how to use that to monetize your Minecraft servers. And I do believe that it was called Bycraft before, however it is now called Tebex, uh, because it does cover uh, different servers as well, like Arc servers and stuff like that. One thing I will add as well is that you will need Lucky Perms or, you know, some sort of permission plugin like that if you do want to set up any sort of ranks or anything like that that you want to give uh, on your web store, perhaps you might want to sell a VIP rank. And if you're not sure how to do that or you haven't done it already, we do have another very helpful video on the Seekerhost website or of course my channel which explains really easily how to set up Lucky Perms, uh, give people their groups and give them different permissions. However, today we're going to be going over Tebex. So for this, just search Tebex in your Google. It's uh, server.tebex.io um, and it's going to bring you up once you have, of course, signed in to create a web store. And there are different plans on Tebex. Of course, you can just go for the free plan if you do pay um, that's usually, you know, once you start getting some income in, you can pay for a larger plan, which will give you more options. But free plan is perfectly good to start off with. So with that, we're going to hit create. So like I was saying earlier, this is why it's called Tebex, because it's not only Minecraft now. Um, it's got plenty of other options. However, we are going to be going for Minecraft, and we're going to be going for Minecraft Java. Here where it prompts you for the name of your server, you can just put the name of your server, of, of, your server, of course. I'm just going to put test server, and here you can choose your currency. I'm just going to use it um, as US dollars, because it's just a test. And with that, we're going to hit continue. On the next page, it's going to prompt you to download the actual plugin to run it. Um, we're using Bucket on this server, so I'm going to select the Spigot slash Bucket plugin here. Of course, if you are running multiple servers, you can, of course, choose Bungie Cord plugin, um, Forge for modded servers. You can do Bucket, the pre-1.13 uh, version, and Sponge plugin. So with that, we're going to hit the button here. It's going to redirect us, and we're going to start downloading the file on the bottom left, and we're going to keep that file. Once it's done, I'm just going to uh, click the three dots there, show in folder, and I'm just going to cut it from the downloads. Um, go straight back, uh, if I close this, go onto the, my desktop, and I'm just going to paste it there, just so I have it there um, available. Of course, if you do have a folder, I would suggest making a plugins folder that you can just add that into. Second on the instruction here is, of course, place it in your plugin file. If you do rent a server, you're going to do it through your FTP file access. You can do it through FileZilla. Again, we do have a very handy video um, if you want to see how to do that there. And for this instance, we are using our Seekerhost multi-craft control panel here on our awesome server. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down to files. We're going to go to FTP file access. We're going to head on over to the plugins folder and we're just going to go to upload. Right, once we're brought onto here, we're going to go choose our file. So if we come onto our desktop, um, or it's on, no, it's on the actual desktop itself and we can see there we've got Bycraft X so we can double click that and we're going to hit submit and that is now going to load this onto our server of course like I said before you can use FileZilla to do this so that's all done, we're going to hit submit and that has now downloaded our plugin if we come back to test and then we're going to hit restart to restart our server so whilst the server is restarting what we're going to do is we're going to come over here for the third step and we're going to copy the command because we've actually got to put this into our console so start up done now what we're going to do is we're just going to paste that into our console there and press send and now as you can see this server is now registered with the server test server for the web store test server bycraft x fetching all the players and of course they're found because we've not uh, got any on the actual server. Now if we come back to this page, it says type bycraft in game. If no errors are displayed, you have successfully linked the web store to your server. So with that, we're gonna head in game. So we're back in game now and we've got to do forward slash um, bycraft press enter and there we go it's all set up and ready awesome so we've now got it set up like we just said it's all ready to go and we're going to continue here and now it's going to take you to your sort of setup page this is where you can actually create your store for people to come and buy the packages um, and you can also change the packages so they get certain items or certain ranks depending on what they buy first things first we want to obviously continue the setup and just finish off all of this to get this 100% so we're going to start up with the logo if you do want to add one of course you can skip all these steps so when you click that it's going to bring you through and you've got some more options here you can you know change your template um, theme logo etc so if we go to theme here we're just going to change a different theme I mean to be honest you probably don't really need to change it but if you would like to um, you can change it and here are the different colors um, so let's do a preview of red see what red's going to look like and that is what our store would look like with the red theme. So I think I actually do like the red theme and we're going to stick with that. So I'm going to click activate there and we're going to click activate again. Logo, you can of course upload your own logo here just by clicking and then going through and finding the logo that you want. Um, I do believe we have one here in pictures and I've just uploaded my little JDog logo there. So we're going to keep that on there. 
and so on. I won't go too much into the editing of the actual web page itself because there is lots of things you can do. However, we are going to go mostly through the setup. So now we've done that, I've hit continue setup and our next one up is to actually create a package. So let's hit the button here and let's complete this item. So, so once we press that button, we're going to be brought through to here, which is our packages. This is uh, the name of it. So I'm just going to change this to packages. And I'm just going to put it as a description, select your packages. Um, of course, you do have a lot more options here that you can go and check out. Visibility, cumulative and advanced. Um, you can check out all the options there. Uh, check or uncheck them depending on what you want. But on the most part, I'm pretty happy with that. And we're going to hit update. Now uh, we've got our category name, which is packages. And we actually want to add a package here. So we start off with the example package with $0. And we're going to change this to a VIP package. We're just going to put a VIP here or whatever um, package you actually want to name it. And here you can put the, uh, the description of the package. I'm going to put cool flying rank because I've added uh, the VIP group on my server to be able to get essentials fly. So we're going to change the price of this. Let's say we change it to $5. And you have got the option here of pay what you want, um, which allows customers to pay more than the specified price. So e.g. if they actually want to uh, pay $10 towards this, they can pay $10. So you can check that if you want. And you can also upload a neat little image there, uh, which will come up next to the package. I'm just going to uh, upload a little diamond thing there just to show that they're going to get um, a package and they've got a little image next to it. So, so far we have our package name. We have it in the category of packages and um, we've got a description for it, how much it is and an icon as well. And this is where you can come configure it a little bit more. If we come down to general, um, you've got the options here, only charge the customer once charge a reoccurring subscription or allow one off charge and reoccurring subscription. Um, allowing a one-off charge and a reoccurring subscriptions means they'll pay the five dollars but they can also add a subscription as well um, or you can just change it so it's a five dollar reoccurring subscription or of course just keep it as just five dollars per transaction you can configure whether you want it to be removed from the customer afterwards so let's say you set it for a month um, at a time so they get the rank but they only get it for a month you can configure this um, so they do remove the package afterwards once I click on that button, you'll see that it will give you a time slot. You can put it after a month, three months, um, you know, and you can just change it like that. You can change it for minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or years. Now, if we head over to limits here, um, you're going to be asked whether you uh, do not impose a global limit on this package. So you can change this to one purchase every one month um, or change this accordingly to how much you want. Um, so you, of course, you might want to limit it. Or you do have a user limit here, which if you click that, uh, you use the limit you can set to you know one purchase every one month or you can of course just uh, not do that and leave it unchecked and then it will not impose any limits so people can just buy as many packages as they want so required packages um, this is something that they will require to be able to purchase this so let's say um, you can't get the VIP rank unless you've got the gold rank first this is how you'd set that up Allowed payment gateways allow this package to be purchased via all payment gateways. Um, you may as well just leave that open because it will only be the payment gateways that you've set up anyway, like PayPal um, or what have you. So I'll just leave that and allow this package to be purchased via all payment gateways. And finally on here, you've got to do not allow the customer to increase the quantity of this package when purchasing. Um, if you do check that, that's going to be true. If you don't, it's going to be false. Visibility, publish on web store from, you can choose a time and date. Um, I'm just going to leave this on always show, so it's always going to be on the web store. You can of course remove this package after a certain amount of time, so remove from web store after, um, and then you can again choose time and date on here. Underneath you can choose um, whether you want to show this package to customers who have haven't logged into the web store or you can actually uh, not display the package off the web store and disable it entirely if you do check this box here for gifting you can choose um, whether you want to be able to use gift cards to purchase the packages um, you can just tick here and it will make it the same marked price um, as it is already um, here you can check whether you want to allow this package to be purchased using gift cards or uh, where it says don't do not allow this package to be uh, purchased using gift cards so if you don't want it to you would check it um, if you do want to allow gift cards, you just leave it alone. And then underneath we've got do not allow this package to be gifted to other players. Um, if you don't want it to be gifted, you're going to tick that. If you don't, then just leave it alone since so I'm no at the moment. Variables, um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that myself. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be more complicated ways. So, you know, you can't get this package until this has been met. Um, but we won't go into that now. And then finally, goal lets your, cust uh, your customers work towards community-wide reward by creating a goal. So this is a pretty cool feature. You might want to say that, you know, um, if you hit $50, we're going to get this awesome new feature put into the server. 
um, and then people can actually in the community can all donate um, and then try and reach the goal. Once the goal's been hit, then everybody or whoever you specified on here is actually going to get the rewards. I'm not going to go too much into this because this is quite similar to actually setting up the web store um, and we're here primarily to uh, show you how to actually set up the web store and get it connected. However, this is very neat. Um, you can go through all of this, again add images and then create it once it's all done. Now that's all the hard bit over, you've made your package, um, you've set all the settings for it, how you want it to run and now you can actually add the commands which will be um, you know, what will happen once they do actually purchase the package. Here we have some options, so when the purchase is packaged, we have when the, per uh, when the package is removed, when the package is refunded, when the package is charged backed. Uh, when the subscription package renews. So you can choose lots of different commands when this stuff's going to happen. So now we want to actually set up what we give them once they do purchase it. Um, we do have the helpful help button here, which will give you a list of different things that you can actually put in there. Um, if we scroll down a little bit here, you can change it so you can see name will include the name, um, you know, all the UUID and stuff like that. You can add uh, what currency, so you can actually put the message on the server saying, you know, player. Um, has you know got this package and it will come up on the actual server once they do um, buy it. So before we start typing out our command, we've checked uh, with the help button here what we're supposed to or what we want to add to it. However, we want to add the actual permission for this. If you head over to the wiki uh, for the lucky perms, it will show you right here. And the one that we're going to use is the LP. Um, sorry, where is it now? The LP user parent set because we're going to be setting their rank. So if we head back over to here and we actually type that out, so LP user and then we're going to do the funny brackets um, and we're going to do name and parent then set and then we're actually going to put the rank so we're going to put VIP. One thing that you do want to make sure is that you actually spell it correctly as well as you can see here if I put LP um, if I put group and then check it I've got default and I've got a VIP so I actually have to, have to put VIP in lowercase and that would have not done the right command so if I exit out of here and I'll just change that to VIP in lowercase. That will now give uh, the right command to actually set them to VIP once they bought the package. Of course, you can add other commands here. Um, once the package is purchased, we're just going to give a diamond as well. So we're going to do give uh, the funny brackets name, close the funny brackets, and then we're going to put diamond one. So now once they have bought this and it's executed, they should get the VIP rank and they'll get one diamond as well. Once we've done all of that, you're just going to hit update. So we've successfully created our package now. One thing to note is that if you don't have the upgraded version, it won't allow you to use the gift carding as well. So you might just have to go back and switch that off depending uh, what you have got going on your Tebex here. So now we actually want to test out that it works and you can do that by coming over to payments. Uh, payments again and then create a manual payment here. This will be making like a, an almost pretend payment um, just to make sure that it actually works so you won't actually need to pay anything for this. Uh, to start off with, you're just going to put your username. So I've got jdog131131. Uh, we're going to do the price of $5. Uh, don't need to make a note. And here we can go on packages and we're going to select VIP. Quantity of 1 and we're going to create. Now as you can see here we've got the amount completed as it would pop up if somebody had just bought this package uh, and we can head on over to view here and it's basically gone through like a normal payment so you can actually go in game and check it now um, it does take up to about 15 minutes anywhere between 10-15 minutes to actually go through once you've brought it to the server so we'll load up Minecraft now and just wait for that to show up. So as you can see on here um, from the Bycraft it's fetched two commands for the player jdog131 um, one of them is to set the parent VIP group um, and the other one is to dispatch a command one diamond so we've received our one diamond and we've now been put into the VIP group and if we log in we can actually see that we have also purchased our diamonds so of course you can add as many commands as you want there and um, you can also you know do it for items and stuff you could have put a sword or what have you to double check I've headed over to my lucky perms editor and I've gone over to my name jdog and I can see here that I've got group VIP added. So we've now set up our store or at least we've set up one thing that you can sell on there. So you can now sell the rank of VIP um, and you're going to receive a diamond as well when you do. So you can do this anything from items to you know effects, any command you can type into that bar um, as long as it's worded correctly. And you can put that in as a package. So with that, let's continue set up and actually get this finished. We're about 33% at the moment. And the next one is to set up a payment gateway. So let's go to this, complete this item. And of course here you do have many options. And it is of course up to you what you choose. Um, you can just go PayPal standalone, PayPal Express Checkout. I usually go for PayPal, but we've also got the option here now, which is a Tebex Checkout. 
Except over 60 payment methods with no integration required, the payment platform is designed for game servers. So that's super awesome, um, and that's actually new since I've last been on. So anyway, I'm not actually going to set up the payment gateway because this is a test server, um, and obviously you'll have sensitive information, but you know, you can set that all up for yourself, um, and I usually would recommend PayPal, however this new Tebex checkout does look really cool. So adding a team member here, this is uh, to add a team member to help manage your web store, you can complete this item by clicking on here. And from here you just uh, get your, you know, the moderator admin or whoever it is, you get their email, um, type that in here, you add the permissions that you want to um, them to use, of course you can um, have them viewing, so that, let's say if you want them to be able to view the billing, you'll tick there, if you wanted them to actually create an edit, you would tick there. Um, or if you want them to be able to delete, or you can of course check multiple boxes here, and then once you have done all of that, you come down here and then hit create. So with that all done, we're going to go and view our web store, so click the button to complete this item, and we're going to get brought through to our brand new web store. Here we've obviously got our logo that we set up earlier, home, packages, and about. If we go on to the packages here, we can now see our VIP package is right here, we can view it. So here we'll bring you up to your package, um, I clo uh, course uh, check the you decide how much you want to pay but if you've just set an amount on there it'll be you know five dollars or however much it is you can click add to basket and then continue on by using your actual in-game username and then paying for the rank once you do put in your username it will um, ask you how much you want to pay uh, because I've put five dollars as the price however they're allowed to pay more if they want they can of course pay more there however it does say that it's got to be greater than five US dollars and then you continue so we're going to hit continue, it's going to take us through to the actual checkout and that is exactly what or how your customers are going to see and be able to pay for your services. So here you can choose whether you actually want to set up a custom domain. Kind of of course change your subdomain here, this is for free. And I'm just going to put this to jdog test site. So we've got jdog test site dot I'm going to hit save there. So now successfully updated your subdomain. However, we are just going to leave it with the subdomain for now. So we've got jdogtestsite.tebex.io. Um, you can, of course, share this um, so people can actually use it. However, you can actually buy it in-game. So if they do forward slash buycraft, um, they're going to be prompted to uh, well, where the packages are, and then they can choose what package they like from in-game. It will then provide them a neat little link, which they can just click on and then go through to actually buying the package. And the last two options are just if you want to follow them on Twitter to receive the latest updates, freebies and other game server related news and the other ones just to join them on uh, server, on the Discord server, sorry, that's completely up to you. So once you do forward slash buy, it's going to bring you up with this menu here, you're going to hit packages, you've got VIP, price £5 and you can tap that and it'll give you a neat little link which will take you straight through to the web store site. Awesome, so that's all set up now and you're going to want to actually change up your web store. Um, of course, I'm not going to go too in detail about this uh, because this could take ages, and it probably already is a super long video. Um, but you, can, you know, if you come down to pages, uh, you can check out what pages you have. You got design here, so you can uh, change anything from your appearance, your preferences, your home page sidebar. Um, you know, even the payment complete page, what they see once they actually do uh, complete the payment, and your terms and conditions as well. So you can always, uh, if I click on there. You can add your own terms and conditions uh, to your packages. Other options here is a player lookup. Um, you can check banned players, whitelisted players, um, and lots of other stuff. Of course, if you do want to upgrade, you really like the service, um, and you know you're getting more and more players in. Um, I would of course go for the upgrade here, and then you know you can upgrade to a larger package. The first one you start is free, but it is limited with the choices that you get. Of course, after that, you know, you can go £12.49 uh, a month and then you get a load more choices, so on and so on, um, with the Enterprise plan right at the end, which is at 49 99 However, um, you, you know, you've got everything from chargeback, prevention, you can use gift cards on it, uh, web source statistics, etc., you know, VPN blockers and all that sort of stuff. If you go on to engagements here, you can check, you know, your sales, gift cards, community goals, uh, player referrals. Super cool feature here is the statistics. You can actually check out your sales, how many players or packages or what the top players or packages are. So with that, I think we've gone through most of the main points on here. So you will now be able to um, add the plugin to your server, set up your packages, actually link the commands. So it does the right command for the right package once the uh, player has actually purchased the package. And then you can go and change the appearance of your web store and uh, you're all good to go now. So I hope you found that helpful for your Minecraft servers and you can get yourselves monetized and earning some money for your hard work. With that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.